So I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. Inventing a new sword trick is hard, like really hard. It requires luck, timing, and skill, but you can totally do it. I mean, if I can, anyone can. So let's see how I did it. First, the prerequisites. These are the things you're gonna need to accomplish before you start working on inventing a new sword trick. First, I've been training in martial arts for like 20 years now. I know, I'm older than I look. So I've already learned all the basics of how to use my sword, staff, and all the other weapons that you see me use on my YouTube, TikTok, and you know, all the other social media platforms I post on. Go follow them. Now look, I'm not saying you need to train for 20 years before you create a trick. However, the 20 years of training makes it much easier for me to master whatever move I'm trying to come up with. So, and so some basic training in your weapon of choice is definitely a solid, solid choice you need to make. And for those of you wanting to use a staff, if you're wanting to get some basic course training, I will actually be releasing a beta test for a staff course here very, very soon. So click the link down in the description. I'll leave it in the corner or down in the description for you guys if you want to sign up for that. Now that we're all caught up, the next thing I started to do was train. I was gearing up for a new tournament and I wanted to pull out all the flashy stops. And so I started to watch some videos of other competitors in the scene currently, just to kind of get a perspective on what the tricking scene looks right now. I watched a ton of videos. And then the time consuming part started. Assuming you already have your weapon of choice, it's time to just play with your weapon. Safety you note, make sure you use uh, tricking katanas. These are metal, but they're not meant for cutting. They're, they're meant for tricking for safety reasons. So if you're gonna be using one of these, you can click out my links down below if you want to buy one. There's a discount code. You're welcome. But if you are experienced, it may take a couple days. And if you aren't, it may take a couple weeks or even months. But your goal is to just test what you can do with your weapon. I would toss my sword in there in different ways, trying to be as creative as possible. Maybe a toss under the leg, maybe spinning twice and then catching it behind my head. You know, the crazier the better sometimes. Some work pretty well and others, well... I won't lie to you, I definitely almost stabbed my eye more than once. For me, it was a total accident. The sword just slipped out of my hands in a mess up and traveled all the way around my head and it literally almost hit me. Now, did I catch it? Absolutely not. But at that moment, I knew that I had something on my hand. So I tried to do it on purpose. I tossed the sword over and over, learning exactly how much force torque and spin I needed to put on the weapon in order to catch it just right. And I learned exactly where I wanted the weapon to go so I could catch it every single time in the same spot. For me, this took a couple days of training, but remember, it may take longer for some or shorter for others. Just depends on where you are in your martial arts journey. But I finally had it. I could nail it over and over and over. Now, I was already sure I hadn't seen the trick done this way in the tournament circuits and the videos that I had watched earlier, but I had to double check. If I was gonna claim that I invented a trick, I needed to be as sure as possible. So I watched more videos. I literally put them on double speed so I could just pound through as many as I could. But after watching a literal ton of videos, I finally knew what I've done. I have officially invented a brand new, never before seen sword trick. Yes, someone could have done it before by accident or in private, but I knew I could be the first person to bring this to the overall martial arts community. And with my tournament two weeks away, I knew I had all the pieces in place to debut my brand new move. And I did. And so yeah, if you want to invent a new trick, it just takes some dedication and time. And a whole lot of research. But it can be really rewarding. So if you have a weapon you really want to learn or have a weapon that you love training with, give it a try. See what you can invent for yourself. Because either way, you'll get better at your martial arts training and that's what, you know, it's all about. But DJ, how did the martial arts tournament go? Well, that's a story for another time if you want. So let me know down in the comments if you want to hear the story of how all my tournaments are going and updates about that because I am going full into competition right now and gonna be doing a full year of competition starting in January. So if you want me to do like a vlog or something like that to keep track of all my tournaments, let me know down in the comments. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss it. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.
if you like this video and want to learn how to make your own sword trick then definitely buy a tricking sword and so check out my review for a tricking sword right here and so i'll see you guys in the next one